Is your Chevy acting up with electrical gremlins? Power windows not working? Door locks acting weird? Or that annoying security light staying on? The problem might be your Chevy's body control module. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to reset it yourself. First, let's quickly understand what we're dealing with. Your body control module is basically the brain that controls all your electrical accessories. It manages your power windows, door locks, lights, security system, and even your air conditioning. When it glitches, multiple systems can go haywire at once. Let's get to the methods of resetting a BCM on a Chevrolet. Method 1. Basic Battery Disconnect Let's start with the simplest method. This works for most minor BCM glitches. Alright, first things first. Make sure you write down your radio presets because, yeah, you're definitely going to lose them. Next, turn off your vehicle completely and take out the keys. Now, you're going to want to disconnect the negative battery cable first and then the positive cable. Here's the key part. A lot of folks miss press the brake pedal for about 15 seconds. This helps drain any leftover power from the BCM. Okay, now you wait at least 15 to 30 minutes. All right, now reconnect the positive cable first, then the negative. Go ahead and start your vehicle and test your electrical systems. You know, a lot of times, this simple reset actually fixes the problem. If you're dealing with security system issues, or if that basic reset just didn't work, you'll need to do the 30-minute relearn procedure. This is especially important after replacing the BCM. This procedure takes 30 minutes, and honestly, a weak battery will cause it to fail. All right, so first things first, make sure you turn off everything in your vehicle. That means the radio, the air conditioning, just, you know, everything. And hey, don't touch the brake pedal during this procedure. Now, go ahead and insert your key and turn it to the on position. But remember, do not start the engine. You'll notice the security light will come on and either stay on or maybe flash. Just leave the key in the on position for exactly 11 minutes. Wait it out until that security light turns off completely. Next up, turn the key to off for 30 seconds. All right, so you're going to repeat this cycle one more time. That's two 11-minute cycles total, with 30-second breaks between each one. After the third cycle, turn the key to on for 30 seconds. Then try to start the engine. If it starts and runs normally, your relearn is complete. If your reset attempts aren't working, here are the most common issues. Battery voltage is critical. Even small voltage drops can cause the procedure to fail. Always use a battery charger during the relearn process. Make sure you're following the timing exactly. Corroded or loose connections are responsible for about 30% of persistent BCM problems. So, if you've tried both methods and, uh, you're still having issues, it's probably time to call in a professional. Usually, this means your BCM needs replacement and programming, which honestly requires dealer-level equipment. So, BCM programming typically costs around $200 to $400 at a dealer. But honestly, it's often the only solution for completely failed modules. All right, there you have it. Two proven methods to reset your Chevy BCM. Start with the simple battery disconnect method, and if that doesn't work, go ahead and try the 30-minute security relearn. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more automotive DIY content. And let me know if this fixed your BCM issues.